guys so today I wanted to create something that was really simple yet really creative and different so this is the look that I came up with for you guys it's an ombre liner but it's a navy to baby blue liner and I absolutely love the color baby blue so this is just so beautiful for me and I use the new SC Edit Inside Track Eye Kajal, and I use the navy blue and baby blue one. They have three more colors. There's a gold and green, a charcoal and silver, and then a like wine color with a pink. I have all of them, so if you guys want, I'll swatch them for you guys on my Instagram, and I'll post a picture so you guys can see them. So let me know if you guys want the swatches of all the other ones because they are stunning. Like I was stunned and so surprised at how creamy and pigmented they were. I don't know why I was expecting them to be like okay like they were fine whatever they'll be workable and they might dry really quick but this was amazing and the baby blue the bo they're both insanely pigmented but the baby blue surprised me the most I absolutely love it I hope you guys like this look and if you guys want to stick around to see how I got it then just keep on watching I'm going into the Makeup Geek Cosmetics eyeshadow in Barcelona Beach so first, my Sigma E25 blending brush, I'm going to start running this shadow through my crease. This is just going to add a little bit of darkness and depth through that crease, plus it's going to keep this area sort of like really matte and set so that liner doesn't transfer up into our crease area. Now to create my liner, I'm picking up the SD Edit Inside Track Eye Kajal in navy and baby blue. So now using the darker side, which is navy brat, I'm going to start creating that outer wing and stopping it right about there halfway through just a little bit less than halfway through and let's see how these pencils are oh my god they're so creamy I'm literally barely touching my lid wow these are so pigmented and then I'm now just filling that in So now if you want to crispen up the edges and make the liner look perfect, if you feel like it wasn't like as perfect as you wanted, take the Sigma EO6 Wing Liner Brush, and because it's so small and fine, this is going to be perfect to really just define those edges, and just blend the rest in. And that just really helps crispen up those edges. And now with the baby blue side, I'm going to now fill in that half right here and I'm really curious to see how this side is because I really cannot find a beautiful pigmented creamy baby blue or a lot of pastel shades are usually not as pigmented sometimes I find so let's see how this is oh my god yes oh my god this is so beautiful baby blue used to be my favorite color for the longest time Oh, this is so gorgeous. So you're going to overlap just a little bit in the center. And now I'm taking a clean Sigma EO6 wing liner brush. And now I'm just going to define that inner corner. And really just, it is going to take away some of that pigmentation, but I'm going to go over top. And then really just define it and then start blending that in. Go from the dark side in and then from the light side out. And then just one last time, just go over top. And now just to add a little bit of shadow on the lower lash line, I'm picking up Barcelona Beach and I'm just going to run this down here. No nothing too dramatic, I just really want to keep the concentration of the look on the liner, but I do want a slight shadow down here. And that's it, that's the liner and look done. So now I'm just going to apply some mascara and falsies. And the lashes that I'm using are these Huda Beauty lashes in Samantha. And I'll be right back to show you the finished look. And that's the I look done. Okay, so now moving on to lips. I don't know why, but I really wanted to pair this look with a red. I know it kind of looks like a 4th of July makeup look. I mean, if you guys want, do this for next year's 4th of July. But I didn't want to do a nude. I really wanted to just do something dark and dramatic. So I'm going to go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Seraphine. This is my absolute favorite, favorite red ever. I could live in this red. It is so beautiful. So I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. And yeah. So 
So this is the finished look of my navy to baby blue ombre liner paired with a dark red lip. I hope you guys enjoyed. I think these liners are amazing. I haven't tried the other ones yet, but I tried this one today, obviously, and it is stunning. So amazing. They're so creamy and pigmented. Like, I was so surprised and it's amazing. I'm really curious how they work in the waterline, but this is stunning, stunning, stunning. And I love this color combination as well. So if you guys want to see any other ombre liners using the other pencils, let me know when I got you. I'll definitely do them for you guys if you want. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, that'd be right here as well as down description box as always. And also the list of all the products that I used today will be down description box. And I think that should be it. So don't forget to let me know what other looks you guys want me to film for you guys, what you want to see, suggestions, leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget. And give this like, give this like, give this video a like and share it if you enjoyed it. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.